Today's lesson is um, a lesson with the new Society Health and Development Diploma students who are all studying at level three, hoping to move on to university in a couple of years' time. Um, the lesson is about partnership working today, um, and they will be exploring different job roles within uh, the NHS and how these people work together um, in respect of a, a case study scenario that I've put together in preparation. When we came in the classroom, uh, Hannah, you wanted to have a go at um, taking blood. I will demonstrate, okay, and I'll let you have a go whilst I continue talking, all right? But do you want to come and watch quite closely then? Okay. Again, I will do this demonstration again at another time for you week when you can get close around, okay? Um, but basically, equipment that you'll need, obviously, is... What was in your envelopes, in your packets, what are you going to need? A cannula, brilliant, a cannula. Okay, um, or a needle. It is a, a sterile procedure, so you should be using sterile equipment. You should get everything ready beforehand. Okay, and um, my patient, obviously, it's not real blood, so we're okay. Uh, but basically, you have a patient, you need to inform them what you're going to be doing, why you're doing it, okay. Need to clean the skin. Now, depending on, obviously, where you work, depending on what you use to clean the skin. Some organisations still use alcohol wipes. Uh, lots of hospitals have sort of gone away from using those um, because they think that it can actually have a, a sort of effect on the blood result, um, especially if you're taking blood for glucose. Okay, otherwise, alcohol wipes should be okay. But the vast majority of hospitals now just clean the skin with a, a cotton wool ball, okay? So I'm going to clean the inside of the um, elbow, okay? I would wash my hands, first of all. Need to wear gloves. Why would I wear gloves? What am I going to be protecting myself from? Okay. So who would be taking the blood in hospital then? A nurse could if she's had venipuncture training. A phlebotomist, yeah. Okay, he's up there. A phlebotomist, well done. Okay, so clean the skin. Um, unfortunately, this arm doesn't come with a tourniquet. A tourniquet is a, a strap that you wrap around the top in order to make the vein prominent. Um, this arm doesn't come with that. It's just the model that is used. But normally with a patient, you would actually put a tourniquet around the arm to make the veins a little bit more prominent. Okay, I've cleaned the area. I have my um, syringe and I also have a plaster ready and my cotton wool ball for afterwards. Okay, and basically what I'm doing is I'm feeling for the, feeling for the vein. Okay, should be able to feel it. Again, just clean the skin a second time. If you do use alcohol wipes to clean the skin, you're supposed to wait for the alcohol to dry because otherwise it does sting. So if ever you've had blood taken and it's stung, that's the reason why. And you actually, with the needle, very carefully go into the vein. Doesn't always happen first time, as you can see there. Okay. Sometimes you may have to dig a little deeper. Okay, and sometimes you may miss the vein altogether. If you miss the vein altogether, you put, apply pressure to the cotton wool ball, okay, and you have another go. Okay, and obviously take your blood sample, apply pressure, release the tourniquet before you remove the needle, okay.